Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, my name is Chris Burkhard, and this is my book, The Boy Who Spoke to the Earth. Um, a couple years ago, I wanted to make a children's book that really spoke about the importance of, um, of really asking challenging questions in nature and how, how kids and youth can connect to, um, to nature in a way that I think helps us feel more alive and more inspired. And so I came up with this book and I worked with a really incredible publisher named The Dreamling Press, as well as an incredible digital artist named David McClellan, who created a lot of these um, digital illustrations. Um, today, I'm going to be reading you this award-winning book, and I want to uh, just thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. And um, if you would like to get a copy, you can buy one on my website, The Boy Who Spoke to the Earth by Chris Burkhard and David McClellan. There once was a boy who spoke to the earth, and the earth spoke back. Earth, are you listening? My boy, I am always listening. Where can I find happiness? The journey to happiness is difficult, but I can show you the way, said the earth. Are you willing to make the journey? Oh, I am, said the boy, and he meant it. Then go to the ocean, where the waves tower overhead, said the earth. So the boy began to walk. I see the water and the shells, said the boy, but I don't see happiness. Then go to the cliffs, where the water is always flowing, said the earth. So the boy waited and he wandered until he left the waves behind. I see the spray and the moss, said the boy, but I don't see happiness. Then go to the forest, where the trees gather together, said the earth. So the boy stepped and he strode until he left the moss behind. I see the roots and the leaves, said the boy, but I don't see happiness. Then go to the desert, where the red stone guards the way, said the earth. So the boy hiked and he hauled until he left the trees behind. I see the sand and the stone, said the boy, but I don't see happiness. Then go to the mountains, where the peaks touch the clouds, said the earth. So the boy trekked and he trudged until he left the sand behind. I see the rocks and the brush, said the boy, but I don't see happiness. Then go to the top of the world, where lights dance in the sky, said the earth. So the boy climbed and he crawled until he left the peaks behind. I see the ice and the snow, said the boy, but I don't see happiness. This time, the earth didn't answer. So the boy walked and he walked and he walked until he left it all behind. I've traveled so far and I've seen so much, but I still haven't found happiness. Earth, are you listening? Cried the boy. My boy, did you look without sea? Asked the earth. Go back along the trail, but this time stand still for just a moment. So he went back and he looked again. And for the first time, the boy truly saw. Happiness was all around him. Did you look without seeing? So that's the book. Um, means a lot to me. It was a, a project that was really meaningful to work on, to write. And I think that 
in many ways to create something that can inspire our future generations is probably the most important thing that we can do. So I hope that you can share this with your kids. And um, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you guys have a great day.